has been tough for everybody, from the police-involved shootings in Louisiana and Minnesota to the ambush of the police officers in Dallas. And it's certainly taken a toll on police everywhere. Local 12 Sydney Benter met a business owner who is showing support the best way he knows how, with some comfort food. That's our make line where all our toppings come in and we put them on pizzas. John Glass is proud as can be of his little slice of pizza paradise. He owns 28 Domino's franchises in the tri-state. When he talks, his employees listen, and they've done more than that recently. So I called my supervisors and said, let's see if we can't get some pizzas out to police departments. And they just took over and started delivering. Some picked up, some delivered, and wherever we could, we just wanted to show them we support what they're doing. There have been special deliveries to police in Bethel, Cleves, downtown Cincinnati and Florence, just to name a few. All right, Daniel, run up, going to Fifth Avenue. On a busy afternoon, employees at the Domino's in Newport are working on a surprise order for police in Fort Thomas. Four pizzas, dessert, and something cold to drink. So we're going to take care of all you guys. We just appreciate everything you guys do. Oh, thank you. Corey Council stores in northern Kentucky have delivered about 50 free pizzas to six different departments. It never gets old. It gives you a personal satisfaction and to see their face and, you know, because they're just doing their job uh, and for them to see that the community supports them, they love it. The support comes naturally to John Glass. To him, it's not just good for business, it's being a good neighbor. I live here. These are my neighbors. I have police officers that live across the street from me, so uh, they're out. We have 470 people delivering pizzas and out on the roads, and they're there to take care of us and keep us safe. So they do a lot of work that goes unnoticed and not a lot of appreciation. So it was great to show them that appreciation. Sydney Benter, Local 12 News. And John Glass got his start delivering pizzas. He bought his first Domino's in 1996, and now he operates all of his stores with the help of his wife and children. So nice. Well, hot and uh, humid today.